everybody. Another video here for you today. I'll leave a link to my first video of the day down below. But today we are going to cover more ancient America and the western part of the United States. Maybe we can get all these states covered in the next few weeks. We are going down to Pyramid Lake today, Lake Winnemucca, right down here. These petroglyphs that were found down here, I know some of you are familiar with these. This is Pyramid Lake here. This is dried up Lake Winnemucca right here. Let's first talk about Pyramid Lake. This is a pretty fascinating place. Seems to have a deep spiritual history with the Paiute and other people that were living here thousands of years ago, Here's maybe. why it is called Pyramid Lake. I'm sure this had some symbolic meaning to ancient cultures around the lake here. There are many ancient legends around the lake. Mothers getting turned to stone. And a lot of these natural features here kind of got turned into myth and legend. Here's a look at Pyramid Lake. The dam was built not too long ago. So it lowered this lake by about 15 feet. This lake was so sacred that the Hebrews visited here about 2,000 years ago. Now, you're saying, what did he just say? Well, this is actually a scene from the greatest story ever told. A movie made about Jesus in the 1960s. And some of you may have seen this movie, but the scenes that were supposedly depicted at the Dead Sea were filmed at Pyramid Lake here. Here is a scene from the movie. The pyramid there in the background, this is Max von Sydow in the lead role here. Pyramid Lake right here. Lake Winnemucca, the ancient dried lake right here. Here's what it looks like today. This is where the petroglyphs are down here. You can see the ancient shorelines. And this tells the story of thousands of years of this lake drying up here. It's really interesting to look at up here on the northern end of the lake up here. And you can just see where this lake was a long time ago. And then literally like bath rings here at this end of the lake. You can see them right down here. This lake just dried up and dried up. And that is pretty cool right there. You can see all the way back to here. This was one big lake dried up over thousands of years. Or is some of this evidence of ancient flooding like Randall Carlson shows at Camas Prairie? Well, I wonder. Right down here, some pretty famous petroglyphs are found. Let's just go take a look. Here's a look at some of these rock carvings up here. They're pretty intricate. There's many different kinds. What do these represent? Well, that's up for anybody's guess. Here's another look. I know some of you have seen Megalithomania UK's video from up here. I know some of you have seen JJ's video from up here. But that symbol right there, that seems to have popped up at a few different sites around the world. What does that represent? Anybody's guess? As good as mine. You can tell this is not in the low area, but this was underwater, they say, for maybe a couple thousand years. These petroglyphs show signs of being underwater. And maybe some of these symbols actually represent water. That one right there, maybe, that looks like a couple different symbols, ancient symbols for water. Here you see there appears to be little indentations all over in the stone. That appears to be a lot of art down there. Do some of these represent celestial events? Well, that's all for anybody's interpretation. Age on these, anywhere from 10,000, 9,000 years old to anywhere up to 14,000 years old. I did a video on this place maybe four years ago. This is one of the more recent stories I found on the Winnemucca Lake petroglyphs here. This was posted about, I don't know, eight months ago. This article talks about the dating of these petroglyphs. It says more precise methods of dating would have required taking scrapings from the grooves of the petroglyphs, which was not allowed by the Pyramid Lake Paiute tribe. However, they were allowed to use non-invasive techniques to examine the petroglyphs that allowed them to work to the side of the carvings. The broad consistencies among the various dating methods allowed the research team to conclude the petroglyph rocks were above the waterline from a period between 14,800 and 13,200 years ago, and then again between 11,300 and 10,500 years ago. And that seems to be the dating period where I think these came from, between 11,300 and 10,500 years ago. And there is a window there, but that comes right after the Younger Dries period, maybe three, four hundred years, maybe it took that many centuries for people to move into the area after whatever happened. 
at the end of that uh, cataclysmic period. But this article says the younger date range is consistent with the date of textiles previously found within the Winnemucca subbasin, dated as old as 10,700 years ago, and the date of various human artifacts previously found within the Lohontan Basin, dated from around 11,000 to 10,400 years ago. The younger date also coincides with the Spirit Cave mummy, and I did a video about that maybe, I don't know, three months ago. Either date range, it says, would make the petroglyphs the oldest found in North America to date. Put all this in perspective, the petroglyph carvings near Winnemucca Lake are over twice as old as the Egyptian pyramids. And I guess that depends how old you think the Egyptian pyramids are, but these are definitely interesting. What were they trying to depict? Well, celestial events right after the Younger Dryas period. Is that what they were depicting here? Right here is pretty interesting, a bunch of cup holes. Are they mapping or dating or charting something? Well, it's all a big mystery. We do not have a guide how to interpret these. Here is a video I will leave the link to, a point in time, Nevada's end of Ice Age lakes and people. I uploaded this in late 2018, but it goes over the incredible volumes of water in these lakes in northern Nevada uh, around 15,000 years ago, a little before, a little after, but... It's pretty incredible the amount of water that was up here, and it certainly goes along with this video here. That is my video on the dried up Lake Winnemucca here and the petroglyphs, also a little on Pyramid Lake there, a lake that had deep spiritual meaning to people a long time ago. There's a look at this landscape from northern Nevada. We have many dried up lakes up here. These were once filled with hundreds of feet of water. That is a video from my home state. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have. Very safe day.